Light is strange. It can act like a particle or a wave. In order to build a cell phone signal blocker, it will be most beneficial to focus on the wave properties of light. As we can see with water dripping into a bucket of water, the water waves created by the drops have an amplitude, a length, and a direction. The length of a wave is referred to as its wavelength. It is the wavelength of light that determines the name of the region of light. Very long wavelengths of light on the order of the size of buildings down to our size, roughly six feet, are called radio waves. Microwaves have a wavelength around the size of a honeybee. It is hard to believe, but the light that our eyes detect the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, are roughly the wavelength that match the size. Single-celled organisms. With red being the longest and violet the shortest. All these different ranges of light are referred to as the electromagnetic spectrum. Notice the shorter the wavelength of the light, the more energetic the light is. For example, Light that is the size of atoms, called x-rays, are so powerful they can pass through skin and muscle, but not bone, allowing doctors and dentists to use x-rays to take pictures of our bones and teeth to help them make diagnoses. If we are going to build a cell phone signal blocker, we need to know where cell phone signals fall on the electromagnetic spectrum. Cell phone signals are in the region between radio and microwaves. This region here, so their wavelength is between several feet down to the size of roughly a honeybee.